Hey, it's Joe Malone in studio. We've got Edie Blanchard from the McNider Art Museum. Thanks for coming in, Edie. Thanks for having me. We've got a lot of things that we want to talk about, starting off with Arttoberfest. That is going to be on Friday, the 20th Arttoberfest, a big fundraiser. And uh, very big fun in the fundraising. Tell me what's going to be going on. Yeah, people come for just the fun. I don't know that they always come for the fundraiser part of it. Yep. But what we have, is, it's, a, it's a high-end beer tasting. You get to experience lots of different beers that you normally wouldn't otherwise get to buy. Um, but also we have music. We have um, things for sale on our silent and live auction. Um, over 120 items at this point. It, it is a fun night. The Mockingbirds um, oh, cool. are our band, and they're very good. They really rock the house. So. Now, let's talk about the auction. You've got artwork. You've got experiences. You've mm-hmm. got uh, jewelry. I mean, a really good, high-quality stuff. Yep. We have uh, pieces from um, David Lee. Uh, jewelers. We have pieces from um, Christensen's Jewelry in Hampton that are high-end pieces. I believe the Diamond Store, Riddles, um, a bunch of those places have also, um, Stadheim, they've all donated very, very nice pieces. Um, we also have experiences. Um, uh, Darshini Jawadina, she has donated a meal for eight at your house where, or wherever you want to have it. Mm-hmm. Um, that's a traditional Indian meal. Oh, that's cool. And, or Sri Lankan, excuse me, Sri Lankan meal. And, and that's a fantastic um, asset for us to be able to auction off. Um, I know the Detmer family is having a experience weekend that they're auctioning off in Clear Lake where you get tickets to the escape room and a whole bunch of fun things over there. Um, And that's here locally, so you don't have to drive a long ways. And we know that's a problem for some people to get out of town. Yeah, well, a nice little couple of miles away weekend getaway. Yeah. Uh, Val Foss with the Painted Horse Studio, she's donating a couple of her wooden signs that she does. We have... um, Many artists, so um, Bill Mateer, Chris White Rosendahl, Peggy Cornick, Pam Burgo Coffee. I mean, just to name a few, there's many that are donating artwork for this um, event. Julie Sheriff, um, and so it's pottery and prints. Um, Dick Leet has donated a watercolor for this event. So a lot of really, really nice artwork. It's it's an opportunity for you to buy something for Christmas, you know, coming oh, yeah. up. And then we have lots of businesses that have donated um, different um, gift certificates, um, whether it's Northwestern Steakhouse or um, uh, Papa's with Prime and Wine or a Rib Crib. Um, they always do um, two free appetizers a month for a year. I can do that. That you get, that you can buy. That's enough to Um, share. I think tailgaters, (laughs) they always do um, a pizza a month. Oh, nice. So you come in and watch Game Head Pizza a month. So lots of really, really good items. And most of them, they won't do them for other groups, you know, because we have personal connections with a lot of these places. So this is a very unique way to get some of these experiences. So for Arttoberfest, is the uh, silent auction going on during the entire event? Silent auction goes from 6 to um, about 8. Okay, so you got a couple hours to get yeah, in, get you got a couple in. hours, you know, because... Um, You'll want to try all the beers. You'll want to try all the food. I mean, the food's just fantastic every year. We have really good food that is like a, a beer eating food, if that makes sense. Oh, no, um, that know, does that make sense. Wanna, yeah. <laughs> you know, and we try to have kind of a fall theme with it. So this year, um, we have brisket that's being made um, mm. by Louie's over in Clear Lake. And um, it's very, very good stuff. And now the live auction, what time will that begin? Um, that starts at 8.15. And Frank Fox actually is our auctioneer. He's been our auctioneer forever. And he does a good time, um, a good a good job because he entertains everybody while he does it. So. Oh, yeah. Well, if people are happy, they're spending their money. I know. <laughs> I know. But he's very funny when he does it. So we have a very good rapport, him and I. So so tickets for Arttoberfest are $40. You can get them at Hy-Vee East, Hy-Vee West, also at Mormon Clothiers. Yep. And uh, they are selling out uh, fast. They're not sold out, but they are selling yeah, out. They are selling very, very quickly, and I imagine we will sell out. So I do really encourage people to get your tickets. If nothing else, you can get them by will call where you can pay at the door that evening. So um, it it very much is, is a popular event, and, and people definitely look, look forward to it. McNider Art Museum is in Mason City. The Arttoberfest fundraiser is happening on the 20th of October. Uh, what what time does it start? What time does it go to the um, It starts at 6 p.m. Okay. And so people can come just right after working. This is something you don't have to dress up for. You know, so it, I can show it, up like this. You can show up like okay. that, and that's Good. fine. Right. Um, but um, it ends between 9 and 9.30. It depends on how long the live auction goes. Um, but we don't ever kick people out. They just kind of naturally leave just between nine. Off. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And a lot of times people go on. To do other things or, or you know, sometimes people just stop for a little bit and then they go home too. You know, they don't have to spend the entire time there. So 
Now, there's some other great things. There's always great things going on at the mm-hmm. McNatter Art Museum in Mason City. You've got fall classes, mm-hmm. um, and you brought in some examples, too, which I'm excited for us to be able to show off here. Yeah. Tell me about some of the classes that are coming up and what you brought in with you. Well, we have a really great selection of classes. You know, that's the thing is that we have classes for everybody from little, little kids that are two years old all the way up to senior citizens. So, um, for example, we'll have a Christmas photo transfer um, class where you can take your photos and transfer them to different objects and, and make a Christmas present. Um, one of the things that we have is a mini canvas autumn art class. This is for adults, and I'll show you guys here. It's on these tiny canvases. So everybody has seen the big canvas projects. Mm-hmm. But this one is a little bit smaller, um, and you'll do a series of them. Um, and this is just an example of the sort of thing that you'll do. And can I guess, is that an oak leaf? Yes, yes. <laughs> I am sorry. I barely know the difference between a deciduous and a carnivorous, so I'm, yeah. I'm very happy that I got that one right. But um, kids' uh, classes are also really popular. Well, and this weekend coming up, I should um, not forget, is that I'm going to be a guest artist because um, we're a little short on staff right now, and so they have me teaching some of the classes. Well, that's fun. In my former life, I did teach. So anyway, um, I'm teaching this class. You can kind of see we're going to be doing a jewelry class. This is one of the examples of things that I've done um, that we're doing in the class, which is kind of like uh, ink stamping on jewelry. Um, and so you'll do that, but also you have access to all the jewelry resources that we have. So we have a lot of antique jewelry and things like that that people donate. So you get to make as much stuff as you want in two hours. Oh, that's cool. Uh, yeah. So that's coming up on Saturday. Um But like I was mentioning, we have these um, kids' classes, which are the most popular. And part of that is because we pick popular themes um, that are going on right now. Um, We've had Pokemon classes and such in the past. This year, we have a Minion class. Oh, that's fun. Yeah. Yeah. So I'm guessing you got a lot of yellow paint sitting yeah. somewhere. <laughs> well, not just paint, but we do other things too. And don't forget, there are purple minions, so they there, will. Oh cover, yes, I forgot. They will cover purple minions yes. too in this class. Um, but then we have Ghostbusters, um, and these are some of the examples that we'll have. You got Slimer here. Oh yeah, and that's what is that shoelace kind of making yeah, up the mouth Yeah, this is shoelace art. Oh, that's that cool. With some foam. Yep, and so then here. Um, I don't know if the camera can pick it up, but this is marbling. Um, This is when you take the art uh, work and um, you use water and you do a marbling process. So he looks like he's a wispy ghost, you know, as on the print of it. And then my very favorite is using polymer clay. They are going to make miniature Stay Puff Marshmallow Men. That, when you brought that in, I thought that was something that you had gone to a store and bought and came no. in like a, a, a plastic deal because that no. looks really, really sharp. Yeah, and the kids will be able to do this. We take them through step-by-step step on how to do it. So theirs will look like this. It won't be just a blob, I promise. <laughs> Unless they don't follow directions. I have no control over that. Well, then but... it'll just be a Stay puff Marshmallow Man in the middle of summer. That's been flo- yeah. that's been um, flattened out, right? <laughs> like he's been microwaved or something. So I... anyway, yeah, so we have, I mean, there's too many to list all the classes that we have. Yeah, uh, well, you can check them out. Uh, you can find out more information on the dates, the times, any associated costs. Mm-hmm. McNiterArt.org. We'll get that yep. linked up uh, down below here mm-hmm. for you. And then also on the McNiter Art Museum Facebook page is yep. another great resource. Yep. And then if you need to, you can always call the museum and ask what classes we have for different ages. We can mail you a flyer, too, if you don't have one. Having lots of fun. Yes. That's cool. Thank you, Edie, for coming in. Thanks for having me. Edie Blanchard joining us here in the Star 106 studio. I'm Joe Malone.